Air purifying respirators, or APRs, remove the contaminants from the air as a person inhales. As the worker is reliant on the air in the immediate atmosphere, the oxygen content must be at normal levels, that is ranging from 19.5% to 21%. The work environment must not be IDLH. The hazard assessment performed by your supervisor and safety advisor will determine the type of air purifying respirator required. Disposable single-use quarter face piece type respirators may not offer as good a seal. So these masks must never be used in toxic environments because of contaminant leakage. Quarter and half mask respirators allow for additional eye and face protection, while full face respirators feature built-in face and eye protection. Half mask and full face respirators allow for a tight seal check between the respirator and the face. With a proper fit, there is minimal risk of contaminant leakage into the breathing mask. Air purifying respirators draw the air through a cartridge or filter. The hazard assessment will determine the type of cartridges and filters required. Replaceable filters remove specific contaminants only. Make certain you have the right cartridge or canister for your job requirements. Choosing the wrong cartridge may endanger your health. These filter devices are all labeled and color-coded for easy identification. Some cartridges may also be stacked and used in combination when more than one contaminant is present. Ensure that both sides are changed together. There are two basic types of filters. Mechanical filters collect solid particles like dust, fumes, or mists. Chemical cartridges collect gases or vapors. As a mechanical filter fills up, it becomes clogged and harder to breathe through, a sure sign it needs replacing. Some have end-of-service life indicators to show when they are no longer safe to use. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations to check the lifespan of a filter or cartridge. There are also a number of physical danger signals that may indicate that the filter, cartridge or canister is no longer effective. These include, you can smell or taste contaminants. Your eyes, nose or throat become irritated. It becomes difficult to breathe. The air you are breathing becomes uncomfortably warm or you feel nauseous and or dizzy. If you experience any of these symptoms, please leave the work area immediately and head for fresh air. Most chemical cartridges give no such warning. They soak up gas or vapor like a sponge and once full, allow the contaminant to pass right through. The moment you can smell or taste the gas or vapor, leave the area and change the cartridge. Some cartridges combine a mechanical particulate filter and a chemical filter that absorbs only a specific kind of gas or vapor. There are also powered air purifying respirators that make breathing easier and keep the face cool. A battery powered fan draws air through the filter and then blows it into the face piece. Air pressure helps to keep contaminants from entering. But like other APRs, this device merely filters the existing atmosphere. It does not supply oxygen. Air purifying respirators work in many situations, but must not be used in IDLH environments. Some chemicals are deceptive. You may not smell them until the concentration greatly exceeds the safe limit. Remember, air purifying respirators should not be used when there is an oxygen deficiency. IDLH conditions exist. There is entry into an unventilated or confined space where the exposure conditions cannot and have not yet been determined. There may be unknown contaminants and or unknown concentration of these contaminants. Gases and vapors with poor warning properties are present. In places where the air has not been tested, you may not get a second chance. By the time you find that your respirator is inadequate, it could be too late. That's why in extremely toxic atmospheres, the use of supplied air breathing apparatus, SABAs, is mandatory.